Well, let's try this again. Boom, baby. We have an Ikoria booster box here today for you guys. Welcome back to MTG Nichols. It's been a long time since we had a proper opening. Um, even longer because if you haven't heard on Instagram, I actually opened another booster box a couple nights ago and I accidentally deleted the files before the other edited version was ready to export and I lost a complete video. I was super bummed about that because I got some wicked pulls out of that box. But luckily, my lady friend hooked me up with a new box. Um, I told her, you know, I was upset about losing that video. Um, that was my only box. So she actually helped me get a new box. And um, we're gonna be opening this one up for you guys. So it's, you know, it's as good as the first time. I could have just said nothing and acted like this was the first box. But, um, I wanted to let you guys know I, I messed up. That was my first big uh, YouTube poop screw up. But without further ado, we are going to get into this brand new sealed Ikoria booster box. See if we can't get an even better box than I opened the other night. I'm going to be posting the, uh, maybe I'll show you guys after this what I got from the other box, like the big pools. But I'm going to be posting the... Um, the pool's on Instagram too. I already posted the box hopper today as of the recording of this video. And I posted that uh, Full Art uh, Brokos or Brokos. And um, really, really enjoyed what I got out of the other box. But, you know, we're gonna keep it going. Oh, this is different. Okay, so here's our box topper. Very excited. We always leave box toppers till the end. That's what I did last time. It was a crazy box topper, good reaction. Hopefully we uh, can catch that magic again. But um, yeah, last time I got the Japanese packs. These are the uh, American packs, I think, or wherever else they uh, print these other than Japan. But these are not the pool tab. i put this box to the side. These are not the pool tab packs, which I, I enjoy those more. And I think the card quality is better on those. But either way, they're magic cards. I love them. And we're going to see what's in this. So we're going to get right into it. Um, again, super sorry for the huge delays in the videos. I have a lot on my plate. I'm sure we all do. But um, I have a new, or I have a whole bunch of videos coming. Okay, so yeah, the Japanese booster boxes I had. It was straight to the sauce, you know, the, the rare's right in the front. So I gotta get used to this again. Put the commons over here. Got a Majestic Oricorn, Zagoth Mamba, Savai Thundermane, and a Labyrinth Raptor. I think I got one of those last time. Um, Rakdos action there. Love myself some Rakdos going on. Put lands over here and the stupid ad card. I hate those ad cards, guys. I don't know about you. Actually, let's uh, move all of this a little bit over. So you can uh, properly see my piles. Tokens, I'll just put it to the side. Or put with the lands or something. But yeah, guys. Um, what was I saying? I have... Yeah, we have videos on the way. This week, we're actually going to have a giveaway video. It's a, uh, a sponsor giveaway from a playmat company that makes awesome custom playmats. And they also have their own designs. But um, we're going to figure that out. I'm going to show off what they sent me. Oh, crystal. And Oh, nice. Sweet. Right off the bat. See, the last box took a while to get going, but we're going right off the bat here. Maybe all the good pulls are in the front. We've got a Fiend Artisan. This is one of the most expensive mythics, one of the best mythics. Um, if you've played with this guy or against this guy, you know. Ooh, and a foil is still right close. Put the pools down here. Yeah, you'll know that that's a very good card. It kind of reminds me of, like, this set's... Uh, Questing Beast, you know, very powerful, like, um, just, you know, a freaking crazy, oh, I guess it's not mono green, but, um, oh, and then we have our little punch out counters, very interesting that they have those this time, um, but it makes sense because they have those, you know, counters for menace, counters, counters for first strike, all those types of abilities, it's a very interesting mechanic, I do have to say I like it. 
with things like the Ozolith, and you like replace them and put them on something else. Definitely a lot of cool synergies you're gonna have going on with that. Okay, so we have this and a little bit of that and a little bit of that. Oh, oh, nice, boom, baby. I like this a lot. I just love the way it looks. Um, I've even seen this in some mono red builds. Absolutely destroyed me the other day, but I do not have a uh, up to date mono red deck. So um, that's to be expected. I'm going to put this with our pools just because it's so cool. That kind of rhymed. I'm not meaning to rhyme at this time. Forest, human soldier. Cool, cool. Everything's cool so far. Nothing too bad. We have a, one mythic already. Um, yeah, so after the playmat giveaway, which is, um, I'm really excited about that. Uh, we're also going to have a, uh, mail time video. Uh, Ultra Post sent me a little something and I'll get into why they sent that, where I got it from. It's a nice little package. Ooh, I don't know what's in it though. And we got a song of creation. I actually got one of these in the other box too. I would love a playmat of that. I might get that. I'm sure they'll make one if there's not already one. Oh my gosh, this is funny. Foil Rare, Gem Razor. That's, that was my Foil Rare last box. This must be just easy to get. It's a good card. I uh, can't complain about that. I'll put it over here since it's Foil Rare. Um, yeah, I like Gem Razor. Could have been the uh, alternate art, but I already have a foil of that. Um, very beautiful card. If you haven't seen it, I posted a nice picture on my Instagram of it. Um, but yeah, let me guys know, or let me know guys, how have you been in the comments? Um, haven't talked to you in a while. A lot of you guys that I try to keep up with another ever cool Phoenix a little mutate action going on there. So, uh, did I mess up? I messed up. I messed up last video too, but it was way worse. So I'm just going to try to keep my, oh, and a foil momentum rumbler try to keep my stacks in order this time i actually had a stack fall that are companion token similar to the adventure token from uh eldrain um but yeah i also have a, a mystery booster box still yet to open i don't know if i'm gonna open that or i might sell it for a profit because i got it very cheap or i might honestly even just give it away to you guys on instagram or on here that's a good idea too. I don't want to have too many giveaways going on at once again. Oh, nice. Really nice. I love this Planeswalker. This is a good Planeswalker for green. Um, didn't have this one yet. Very happy to pull it. Um, alternate art would have been nice. But you know, it's Planeswalker. It's playable. And a foil. That's our hit. And a foil Patagia Tiger. Interesting. It's our common foil. And then uh, we're getting through this first stack pretty close to being done with it. I will say these packs are so much easier to open than the Japanese packs, even though I love the pool tab and everything. Um, it's kind of, it's a lot of pressure to open on film because um, it doesn't always pull the right way. And I always, I'm scared I'm going to like bend cards. Death's Oasis. Um, pretty annoying card. I got this last time too. This box so far is not too different from the last box um, in the the rares that I'm getting in that crazy foil, stupid ad card, uh, foil rare card, Jim Razor. Um, last video was super long too because it was like 1 a.m. and I was just um, kind of tired. I was in a good mood, all tart. I was in a good mood, but you know, sometimes even if you're in a good mood and tired, you can be a little sluggish, especially on a video. I always think this says football crater. That'd be an interesting uh, twist. Draneth Magistrate. Very good rare. I think it's banned in... Is it banned in Brawl and ADH? Or something like that? I mean, it's Brawl. Um, yeah, it's super annoying in Brawl. If you guys play Brawl, you'll probably know that. Um, but you can't get your... Uh, can't get your commander out, you know? It's crazy. And a companion, I guess. Works from that, too. So that just shuts down most Brawl decks. All right. Uh, we might have an impending companion ban too. I don't, I don't know if it's this Monday or, or what day that's the ban update is supposed to be, but I've been hearing about that. Catcher of Crystal, Boone. We got Boone last time. 
Reminds me of a Luna. Nice. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. If you know me, I love Triumphs. You know I love them. Uh, they're just super useful. These will always probably be useful unless they make some crazy tri land that has some other sort of ability, which I don't think they will. Um, that'd be a little too much, I think. But yeah, it's a crazy card. Just to be able to have a tri-colored land ever is very nice. Even though it does tap, but you know, um, that's always going to be useful. You can replace temples with it if you don't really need the scrying ability as much. Uh, Starix, Channeled Force, Mythos of Brokos. We got, I think we got every single Mythos in the last box. So uh, that was a little bit of a drag. Keep opening Mythoses. I love the art though. Seb McKinnon, if you ever watch this, just uh, hit me up. Do a little collab, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Do a giveaway. Last time I did a giveaway for art was uh, the Chuck Lucas, who I think is one of the one of the best artists in Magic. Um, he has some really cool art. He did the uh, throne, or he did the Theros borderless. Another Draneth Magic shirt. Jeez, he did the Theros borderless um, planeswalkers. Okay, so we're getting some duplication here. Maybe that's a good sign. Maybe we can get a double Mythic or something like a crazy Mythic. Um, hopefully this is a Planeswalker box. I'm, I'm really, really, really hoping for that, uh, that Narset. Um, I think it's awesome. I just love Narset as a character in the lore and everything. Uh, she's just amazing. Lava Brink Venturer. A lot of white stuff going on here. White cards going on. A beastie. Um, we're on a second stack, by the way. I, don't, I can't remember. I think this is the first pack of the second so uh, try to speed it up a little bit for you guys not get too long winded boom 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 Titan's Nest oh shoot we got a foil spontaneous flight not sure what to think about Titan's Nest um, I haven't encountered it yet but yeah it is what it is we only have uh, two mythics so far but we have a lot of packs left a lot of pack left I think Last video, there was four Mythics in total, but I got some uh, nice Triomes and um, a few Ultimatums. Can't really, honestly, I can't remember everything I got. Or I'd list it. I'll probably show you after this. Easy Prey, Storm Wild Caprador, Burnyard Lurker, awesome looking card. And Kahira, the Orphan Guard, cool. Very cool. Um, good Companion. Companions are all the rage right now in a good either a good way or a bad way whatever you think about them uh, You guys can let me know if you want. Have you been playing companion companions? Um, do you like them? Do you think they're good or bad for magic? Um, it's very interesting. It's a very interesting meta right now You have crazy 80 card plus decks that are actually like dominating some formats uh, Momentum Rumbler, Boner Lurker Sanctuary Smasher, and Shark Typhoon. I think this is actually, oh no, I messed up again. Why didn't you guys tell me? Why didn't you tell me? I messed up. Uh, I think this is like five bucks or something. It's a pretty crazy card. I just messed up again right there. I gotta get better at this. I really call myself a YouTuber. I just can't. I can't even call myself that if I don't know how to organize my stacks. You know what I'm saying? Let's get through this stuff. Um, so we got an uncommon, uncommon, uncommon. Fronland Felidar. Did we already get one of those? I think I just am having deja vu. Barrier Breach. Cool art. Some a lot of teeth there. Cool foiling. Foiling's pretty good um, in this set. Oh no, that's a yeah, uncommon. Gosh, guys, I am dropping the ball. You should just dislike this video just kidding don't but um yeah i need to get better at this haven't done it in a while though other than the other night which was also pretty bad okay so we have a regal leosaur that's one of my first of the it might be my first of that one. Ooh, nice nice i will never get enough of these full art triumphs just breathtaking looks like something from an anime and then we got a foil excavation mole. 
That sounds gross. Oh no, that's a that's a hit. It's a hit, Nichols. MTG Nichols, what are you doing? That's a hit. Put it with the hits. Triumph is always a hit. Had to double check. I put that uh, Indotha Triumph there. I did. Okay. Let's uh let's get into it. Where's our crazy mythic full art cards? Let's get an apex out of this one. What do you say? Boom. Ooh, Loris. Nice. Very nice. One of the best companions, definitely. I got destroyed by this the other night. And then Auspicious Starks. Foil. Nice. Um, I guess I'll put Loris with the hits. I don't remember Loris's um value, per se. But I know it's a great card, so I want to keep that to the side. Um, probably post that on Instagram one day. That open. I've got this huge pile of foil beside me. Oh, sorry, I'm kind of out of frame. I always do that. I'll like look at. I'll just open them like I'm opening them normally. Ooh, nice. I've been hoping for this too. General Kudro of Dranith. Um, Really cool human tribal type of commander, or even just put it in the deck. I think it's a good commander though, because I mean it's worth it's a three drop, you know. And there's a lot going on there. Destroy two humans. Tar destroy target creature with power four or greater. And you can get rid of some bad stuff there, you know, pretty easily for cost of two. If you have a token generation going on. Um, <clears throat> Oh, I'm so hungry. I'm waiting on Chick-fil-A. I don't know if you guys have Chick-fil-A where you are, but uh, having Chick-fil-A dropped off to me, so I figured I'd film this while I'm waiting on that. Journal's Enforcer. Dirge Bat. Pretty cool mono black card. Uh, seeing it in some good mono black builds. Um, I actually jumped back into Standard the other night for the first time in a while, and um, the only decks I was seeing really was Jeskai, Jeskai, um, not even Narset, I, I forget what was in it. I think it was just another version of Jeskai Fires, but um, with like Shark Typhoon and stuff. Oh gosh, it was so annoying to play against. But whatever works. Another Labyrinth Raptor. Why can't we get like double Lorises or, or double Triumphs? I mean, Labyrinth Raptor, you know, whatever. It's Rakdos. I gotta represent my Rakdos, fellas, you know. <clears throat> Let me know if you're a Rakdos boy or girl. Goral. Let's keep this going. Oh no, I'm I'm dropping my stacks. This common stack is getting too big. All right, Let's skip to these uncommons. Let's see what we get here. Football crater. <laughs> Alert heed bonder. Unbreakable bond. Whirlwind of thought. Cool card. You know, card draw. Every time you cast a non-creature spell. It's a four drop. Definitely seen it go off for people in Brawl. Get that card advantage, which is very good in Brawl. Pretty much any format, card advantage is good. Um, but yeah, I'm a, I'm a noob. Let's see what we got in here. All right, Hornbash Mentor. Flourishing Fox. Porky Parrot. And a Genesis Ultimatum. Nice. So we got our first Ultimatum. It's one of the better ones. There's crazy stuff going on there. And a Foil Umori. Nice. So we got another Foil Rare again. We got two Foil Rares last time. One was a Companion as well. It was the uh, the Deer. I forget what it is. Um, I'll put that with the hits. i move this up a little bit. I'm not sure if it's uh, worth too much. Especially since you can probably get a ton of those out of collector boxes or packs. Oh, this one's being stupid. But yeah. Um, please, please, cat, please don't get up here. He's walking around. He's thinking about it. No, 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 no. He's sniffing my packs. I don't know. Oh, you can't see him. Oh, nice. Okay. So my prediction came true. Or not prediction, but my, my wish came true. I got a nice double General Kudro of Dranith. So that makes... That makes four uh, mythics, so we're on par with the other box at least, and we still have a bit to go. We still have like, what is that? Like ten packs almost. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we can get a five mythic box. I'll be happy. 
We can get, I mean, there's potential for like a six, seven mythic box if you think about it. If you get a really good box with six mythics and then a mythic box topper, I mean, you can still make a lot of money out of this set if you're selling cards. Nice. Bonders Enclave. Most likely not all that often, but you know, if you get a Ghidorah and then some other crazy stuff. Oh my gosh, this cat is about to ruin my whole video. He's he's definitely going to break something. All right. Chonkers. Chonkers. Leave. His name's Chonkers. I don't think I told you. I might have told you guys that. He used to bug me in my older videos. Get through these. Another ultimatum. I think this is one of the least sought after ones. Uh, but it's cool art. And it's Jeskai. I like Jeskai. So, it's cool. Bloodfell Caves. Dinosaur token. All right, let's keep going. I'm trying to finish this up before the cat destroys my desk. He's just climbing all over the desktop and stuff. Oh no. Dang, I still get him caught, even in the regular booster packs. So let's get through this. Da -da -da -da. I will never, for the life of me, understand how people crack through boxes so fast. Garuda. Garuda. Some Garuda action. Very cool card. Some uh, Mimi decks out there in standard. And a Glimmer Bell. Glimmer Bell. Beautiful. Foil common. So many tap lands. I honestly wish, you know, they would just include um, maybe tap lands. I don't know where they would include them, actually. Maybe the common slot or something. Oh, I see a Trium. Sorry to spoil it, but that's a, uh, that's a Trium. A full art trium, boom, baby, and Dotha. I keep getting like the same three ones over and over again. I get Ketria and Dotha and uh, Rogren, but I am not complaining. That is a hit. I think so far we have more overall. Oh, that's that's not a token. I think we have more overall hits in this box, um, as far as like rares and mythics go. Um, so yeah, that's uh, something to be smiling about. If you can't see me, I'm smiling. What am I saying? You can't see me. Uh, my friend told me I should get a face cam for these, but I don't know. Maybe down the road. Mythos of Snapdax. So that's our second Mythos. I think that one's decent. Narset of the Ancient Way. Um, it'd be cool to see an Ar Narset in the clothes here. I got that emblem last time too though, so I think they're just uh, randomly inserted. Not not like super linked to if you're getting one. Um, so here we have a avian oddity called the Death Dweller. So Sanctuary Smasher and <laughs> a Ketria Triumph. Nice. So we got two and uh, we got four Triumphs, two Ketrias and two Indathas, and a foil Ketria Crystal. Wow, that is a Ketria pack. That is interesting. Um, cool. This is probably something to hang on to. I'll uh, pick that out of there later, but I'm not going to put with the hits. But uh, people are definitely are using those uh, crystals. You know, any mana rock is usually a good mana rock, especially if you're running a deck heavy with them. Um, you're always going to want to have more and more options. I don't know why I'm like preaching at you guys like I know anything, because I really don't. But you know, it's a good idea probably. Death's Oasis again. So, so many. And a foil evolving wilds. Wow. Okay. This just got real. Real quick, this got real. Pretty evolving wilds. Um, all jokes aside, it's a very beautiful one. My friend Trey likes that. Maybe I'll send that to him. <laughs> and then we have, what, what do we have here? Five packs left. I missed at six. So five packs left. Um, last time I tried to make a uh, ambitious goal and completely did not meet it. So uh, let's do that again. Let's see if we can get a Narset full art out of these five packs. And if I do, I'm gonna, I don't know, just probably pass out. Ruinous Ultimatum, nice. I just love the way that uh, Narset looks. The Narset art is amazing. So we got a Ruinous Ultimatum. It's our third ultimatum, not too bad. And then we have our little uh, punch outs. All right, four packs left. Can we get that elusive Narset? Or can we get something else crazy? 
or even another triumph would be great. Um, boom, boom, boom. Gigantha. This was okay. Yeah, this was the one that I got as my uh, second foil rare in last box. Good card. Awesome card. Oh, and a third foil rare extinction event. Don't know if that's seeing much play. Probably, probably is. It's a interesting card. So we got a third foil rare, guys. Jeez. Um, can't complain about that. I mean, Gem Razor is probably the only one that I care too much about. But or Umori too, I guess. It's a cool card. But um, you know, I'm never gonna complain about three foil rares in a box. You know, if I didn't hit, I didn't hit. But I I got the chances, and that's good enough for me. Channeled Force, Porky Parrot, nice. I think that's my first uh, alt art of that. Mythos of Vadrox, that's our third Mythos, I think. Please, these two packs, please do not be the last two Mythoses. <laughs> I would uh, greatly appreciate that. Um, all right, second to last chance for that Narsa. I'm knocking this over. Can we get it? Another Evolving Wilds? Oh my gosh, this is getting too tall. I should have put it to the side instead of the middle of my screen. Uh, Karuga. Looks like we're getting all these uh, champion or companions, not champions. Companions in the end. This isn't a Fires of Invention deck that is wrecking standard. I heard, at least. Or wrecking tournaments. Not necessarily all of standard. Um, oh, okay. Let's see. Can we get... Something juicy. We didn't get an Apex in this whole pack. I just thought about that. This was a land creature pack. We got a Planeswalker too. Oh my gosh, really? I shouldn't have said anything about the Mythoses. Fourth Mythos. I missed got all of them. Darn you. Darn you, last pack luck. Actually, if you guys are thinking what I'm thinking, that's not the last pack. Ooh, yeah. Now this. I think I might have run out of my luck with the box topper last time. But we can still try, you know? It's never too late for the box topper glory to bring us back and have a crazy ending. So I'm going to twist this over in three, two, one. Show me a Ghidorah. Aww. You can't hate it because it's so adorable, but you can't love it because it's just one of the most common ones to get. <laughs> but, uh, you know, whatever. I'm glad I have it. It's a cool card. I'm going to put it in my folder or in my binder. Um, put with my hits here. Other than that, guys, uh, thank you so much. Oh, I'm going to show you my old hits if you care to see. The hits from... This is going to be a 30-minute video. Jeez. Yeah, I got this Brokos. Savi Trium, Space Godzilla, Death Bleep for the uh, foil, Luminous Broodmoth, Amazing, Keenan, Amazing, Indotha Trium, Great, Ozolith, Great, Foil Gigantha, Awesome, Brokos, and Rogren. So that's what I got last time. This is what I got this time, clearly. Um, thank you guys so much for coming back and watching. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't get that last box up. It was a really fun box to open, but so was this. Um, we had some crazy stuff. It's a lot of duplication. But, um, yeah, we have a lot coming on the way. Um, check the links below if you want to check out the Patreon. We're going to have pack openings coming back. We're going to have a huge patron opening for all the months that we missed. And uh, we're, I'm going to make them right. And uh, it's going to be really exciting here at MTG Nichols. Thank you so much for watching. Watch for a video on Wednesday, um, June 4th, 3rd? I can't remember. But that's going to be the... Uh, unboxing or the uh i don't know what to call it i guess just giveaway for the uh, sponsored play mat custom play mat it's gonna be awesome um till then guys thank you so much for watching you know what we do here we do this little boom boom peace out outro bye <laughs>